Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Transformers War for Cybertron. Last time we left off at the Decepticon outpost, so let's get back to it. Soundwave, report! We have taken control of this portion of the station and established your base of operations. Scans indicate that Starscream has locked down all logical routes to the Dark Energon reactor. <laughs> And we're fresh out of Star Cruisers to tunnel our way. Quiet! There must be another access point. We have to reach the station's next pod. Megatron, I have located a nearby data metric center to reveal any alternate means of entry to the next pod. Alright, well, let's go do it. Oh, might as well grab some ammo. Oh, actually, there's flat grenades. Well, I'll take some flat grenades, why not? I don't know what I had before, but. I always forget to use my grenades. I, you know, it, I will say that it's like one, it's like one game that I don't, uh, for some reason, use my grenades all that often. At least not in campaign. I, you know, in multiplayer, I'll use them all the time. But, but grenades are always good. Uh, but I always forget because it's it's like a, a completely different thing. Because I, I'll, I'll, I'll say right now, I, I, the game I, if I'm gonna play a first-person shooter, I play I play Halo. Um, that's that's really one of the only ones I like. Um, I, I do like third-person shooters more so. You know, stuff like uh, Gears of War. I've never really gotten into playing that on uh, in multiplayer though. Aha! There we go, Action Master, which is wonderfully one of the uh, many achievements that are related to a uh, some piece of classic Transformers lore or an episode title. Uh, in this case, the Action Masters were one of the lines from the later portion of uh, the Transformers. It was like at the towards the very end of the Transformers original, the original toy line. Um, they did these things called Action Masters, which uh, were kind of defeated the purpose of having Transformers. Uh, they they were actually they were non-transforming Transformers. You know, we get that, but. Yeah, so so you you might be able to guess why they weren't very popular. You know, people don't like buying. You know, they don't like getting transformers. If uh, oh oh, a new weapon, new weapon. Ha! Sorry, I, I got a little excited there. Pretty sure this is a good one too. Oh, it's an EMP shotgun. Oh, I must have missed there. At one point there, I think it was a uh, a scoped rifle. Oh well. Not like I can't make do with uh, with my regular blaster that I've got. It works. I just like that for uh, long range. So it's not. It's always a good thing. But hey, EMP shotguns are cool too. You just have to get in close and personal, which I am personally a fan of. One thing I'm not a fan of with these is the fact that they don't, you only get one. You only get two shots per. Her clip, so it can be a little bit of a pain. Ow. Ah. This was the reason I wanted that shot. I wanted that other weapon. He stole my freaking amp. Oh, I got hit again. Yay, more ammo. I always do love ammo. Running out of ammo is always a like, crappy thing. Ah, uh, just there, John. I thought it was a uh, thing. was created over 10,000 years ago. Much of its technology is antiquated and inefficient. I hope I haven't forgotten about... No, I don't think I have. I was going to say, I hope I didn't forget about any more... Oh, that's the other thing. I hope I find a battle rifle. I think there was... A, I think there's another one here close. Because there's going to be another spot where it's going to be a pain to actually be able to shoot the thing where the battle rifle's at. Big pain. Maybe I should look around here. Give me a second here. Uh, some more ammo. Been looking for some of this. 
I don't see any weapons around. Okay. Well, whatever. Like I guess it won't make do. Soundwave, we've located the hollow map. I'm sending the data to you now. Megatron, you may have gotten this far, but you'll never get your hands on the dark energy. Starscream, this acrimony is needless. I know who you once were, Sky Commander, and that you were betrayed. With Dark Energon, I shall return Cybertron to its former glory, and you to yours, if you agree to serve me. You're a fool! No one can control Dark Energon! Alright, so I do believe we are going to... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, uh, no, we just got regular enemies over here. Guys keep shooting missiles at me. And die. Oh, I got more. <laughs> that is, that's one. That's one funny thing. The uh, collision physics in this game are kind of odd, to say the least. Um, you'll, you'll find like if you like jump on, jump near someone, you'll like be pushed off and, until. It kind of like works hit until you, until you can hit the ground, you know. They, they'll, they'll like push you off. I I, I think it's kind of funny. Yeah, eat my shotgun. Ah, I love replenishing those auto replenishing ammo dumps. Ah, so wonderful. Lock this room down and await our return. Okay, so now we are going to be introduced to a new enemy type that actually requires some different strategy to take out. You notice I've, I've kind of been aiming for the heads on a lot of enemies. Well, th this guy is uh, kind of invulnerable unless you hit him in the back. And I find a really good way to do that is to activate the Whirlwind. Oh hey, another achievement progress meter. You just need to kill two more brutes and I get an achievement. You do know how much I, I've mentioned it several times now. I do love achievements, so what exactly did they I'm going to enjoy getting more achievements. For dark oh, is that just the that damage the shotgun again? Special pods that could to any part of the <laughs> <laughs> uh, are these EMP grenades? Out of the way, barricade. Uh, I can't tell. It's not going to tell me. Oh, I can't... Oh, okay. I don't know, I'll just transform! Oh, you're dead now! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, see, there, there's a perfect example of the collision physics. I, like, dashed, but I ran into the back of Megatron. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'll get it. Those vents are more of a problem than the freaking fans, though. Those things will just tear you up. All right, uh, we are coming up to our uh, uh, very close to our next uh, icon, our symbol. Symbol. That's, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. I'm gonna go over here. Choom. I don't think it's in this one. I have. Ooh, there's another. There's a uh, different thing. Oh, it's the freaking shotgun again. And then we have some grenades, but I don't want any grenades. I already have grenades. I haven't used what the ones I have. We. And more grenades. Another fan to shoot. Okay, so... Alright, it's on this side, so... Alright. Yeah. Alright, down in this last one. This is the only one you actually have to 
go out of your way to get to. There was our next symbol. All right. Um, all the other ones are, you're like on the same level anyway, so it doesn't really matter where you're falling. So, anywho. Uh, we're coming up to a spot where I really wish I had that um, scoped rifle, because, yeah, there's going to be some guys that have something very similar to, the, to that, and it's much easier when I have a scope. I'm just saying. Uh, these, these guys are kind of pansies, but, you know, th this room was murder on when I played hard difficulty. Oh, I hated this room. Oh, hey, Target Master. What, what's this one? Kill two snipers in five seconds. So, hey, double kill. <laughs> and that wouldn't be like the only place you can get it. This is probably one of the easiest places to get that achievement. Uh, just because there's a lot of them, uh, especially if you're playing on easy. You know, obviously they're going to go down pretty quick. So, make our way. Oh, the door didn't open in time. Oh, hey, look, it's another one of these guys. Oh, I was like, why is my... What? I keep trying to activate my... Oh, you want some? Bitch. I guess I didn't have enough charge on my thing. I'm gonna throw a grenade! Yeah, see, these guys are pretty easy if, if you can actually get to the point where you're they're distracted by something or someone. That's why th this is a good one to have if you're playing like cooperatively with with other people because then one person can you know distract the brute while the other two are shooting him in the back. But uh, you know, it, they're, they're easy enough to take down. Once I, have enough dark on I just like uh, the you know, I just like being able to just sh you know, shoot them or, you know, just use the whirlwind attack and and just do that. It's it's a lot easier. But that time I didn't have it charged up, but amazingly so. I didn't think I had used it. I figured I had gotten an, I got a uh, collected enough gubbins to fill up my ability, but apparently not. I tire of these futile attempts to resist me. Dark energon will be. In, in other mine. words, resistance is futile. <laughs> what makes you think you can control the dark energon? Sorry. What no one else has ever been able to. Only the strong are worthy of such a weapon, Barricade. I am the strongest. Barricade is just, uh, you know, saying a lot of things you probably shouldn't. I mean, this is freaking Megatron we're talking about. He's not exactly the, you know, nicest guy. Oh, hey, we have another new enemy type. Which are the flying enemies? Well, one one thing you'll notice, like when I get into the Autobot campaign, is the fact that the you know both of the enemy types are uh, like the main enemy types that are pretty much the same, here regardless of whether you're playing on the Autobot campaign or the oh yeah, if um, or if you're playing on the Decepticon campaign. These guys, if you shoot them in the feet. Uh, there's actually an achievement related to that. And that one I don't think counted. This guy's gonna freaking transform. Where do we go now, Megatron? Okay, and our third icon or symbol is right back here. But no weapon I know. Blow that up. I don't care what did it. Find a way across. And I am really low on ammo. I need. Hey, look at ammo. <laughs> this is what I was talking about before. It's like you don't really have to worry about not getting ammo in a lot of cases. Let me see if there's. Uh, there's still not one of those rifles. I know. I can't. When I when I was playing this the other day, in preparation. For this, I would swear there was another one around, but apparently I was mistaken. Oh well, yeah, the gun I have will work well enough. Alright, so that will open up that. Um, guys, would you transform? I want to get my achievement. Not that I haven't gotten this achievement already, but you know. Transform! Or don't, and I'll just kill you anyway.
Why am I stuck? Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Sometimes Transformers are a little bit too big for their environments, so... Hey, stop shooting me! Yeah, another one! Yeah, see, th this was the kind of thing I was talking about. Um, Megatron definitely would not have been a good one to have on this, because uh, I'm pretty sure... What the hell? Oh, it's not the weapon I want. Hey, transform! Transform, transform! You can do it, transform! No, nope, apparently you couldn't. And that will bring close to episode 2 of Let's Play Transformers War for Cybertron. If you're enjoying the, this playthrough, then please rate, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you next time.